This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2005 Ford F-350 crew cab, short bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive, and it's an XLT, which is cloth. This truck has 112,500 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Austin, Texas. Um, when we get them here, once they ship in here, we do a two-hour inspection. During that two-hour inspection, which it's kind of windy right now, but uh, kind of looks like that and that. And I got my little cheat sheets right there. Uh, basically, we drive them, obviously, uh, do measurements, check fluids, put it in the air, take the wheels off, look around. Uh, everything that we know that's wrong, we let you know. Everything that we know that's wrong that we fix, we let you know. The, the idea of this would be to have no surprises. A million people will sit, not a million, literally, probably five or 600 a day will still see this truck. The right person will find, be in the right truck uh, if we do this correctly, okay? And our goal is not to get screamed at, which never happens, and the way you do that is full disclosures, okay? So, when it got here, uh, this is what happened to it. Uh, it had, needed uh, a serpentine belt, it was making some uh, squealing noises, it needed a battery, it needed a windshield, it had a windshield crack, this front valance, you'll see before and after pictures, this front valance had a big chunk of plastic out of it. It was blue. We took it off and just left it black. Keep the keep the price of it down. Um, let's see. Uh, rear shocks were bad. Uh, and also, we realized that it has an EGR delete. Okay, It does have a catalytic converter under it, but whoever owned it put a tuner on it and did an EGR delete. So... If you want to go back to factory, uh, you may want to uh, take advantage of our uh, Bulletproof EGR package, which is uh, the uh, Bulletproof uh, EGR cooler, a Ford oil cooler, new coolant, uh, Rotella oil and filter, um, and that would return it to factory, okay? Um, as it is now, because they tuned it, uh, and because the tune's built in, uh, it won't have any codes for emissions. Uh, obviously, those of you who know about, about why you would do that know that they obviously perform better, but uh, we disclose everything, so that's, that's what's going on. Some people will be saying, hallelujah, that's great, and some people who wanted to go back to factory, so there you go. Uh, we do the Bulletproof EGR package for $1,900. Now, that doesn't include the downpipe, but we actually have a couple extra ones here. So uh, we'll just throw that in as part of it if you want us to do that for you. Uh, it doesn't need an EGR uh, anything. It runs great. Uh, there's no issues here. But uh, we just thought we would uh, offer that. It's, uh, we offer that for $1,900 to all of our customers who buy a vehicle. If you want it done to us, to your vehicle that you currently own, it's uh, a lot more than that, like twice that. All right, there's a little scratch here. Obviously, a little blue touch-up bait would help that a little bit. Other than that, I'm seeing a couple little nick here. Maybe some paint thinner to get that off. The tires look like they're brand new, and the spare is brand new. There's uh, one of the new shocks on the driver's on the passenger side. I'm sorry. It's a nice truck, really nice truck. My brother will take this thing out and give it, uh, I don't know, 50 to 70 HD pictures. In those HD pictures, uh, you'll be able to click on them and zoom in really close. And honestly, it's shocking. <laughs> Using that device on your computer gives you a better view of the cosmetics than standing next to it. There are things that you'll see in the pictures that you don't see in person. Uh, so the pictures are actually better than the human eye. There's a couple little nicks here. You don't have to worry about tires for a while. Whoever, whoever had this stolen just put tires on it right before it got stolen, which always indicates a little door ding here and one right there. Uh, whenever you see brand new tires on a vehicle that shows up uh, as a theft recovery, means that the owner before it was stolen, liked it a lot, and it's always a good indication that you're buying a good car. 
or truck in this case. 12,500 miles. On the nose. There's a Ford stamp there. Let's see. Barely see it, but right between my finger and thumb, there's a Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. New battery on this side, original battery on that side. That's a beautiful thing. No blow by. There's your EGR delete right there. All right, this is the passenger rear window, up and down. Seats look great. Back seat looks great. There's your passenger front window. Door locks. Again, the seats are in really good shape. There's a manual. Guy spent uh, probably 1200 bucks on tires right before it got stolen. Guys don't do that when it's not a good one. Nobody does that when it's a good one. I'm going to go drop $1,200 and uh, get my truck sold the next day. No. If it's bad, no, you don't do that. Anyway, there'll be four pictures uh, before it even left Texas to come here that you'll be able to see. And it's basically the same truck this side for that upper bumper cover. And if you look at it real carefully, you can see a little chunk of plastic missing from it on the top underneath the grill. And uh, that would be why. There's your mirrors out, in, up, down, out, in, up, down, tilt wheel. That works fine. And I'm going to make an assumption that whoever owned this truck was not a big person, if you know what I mean. Because usually it's really broken down here on the outside of a XLT cloth seat. And it's not. This is a very good condition. Okay. Let me get a seat belt on. All right. Seat belt is on. Okay. Radio. This time you do it on a fixed rate 15. Com. I. Do you think? Radio works fine. CD player. There you go there. Let's see what else. All right. I'm going to put it in neutral. Put it in four low. Now we're in four low. Put it in drive. This is about the last weekend under 90 that we're going to get. Actually, it might have gotten to 90 today. And reversing for low. Uh, I'm getting ready to be warm for a couple months. Now we're going to go for high. And drive. And reverse. And for high works fine. Now I'm going to go back to two-wheel drive. Put it in drive. Let's go for ride. It's on a clear title. So, if you come to Tucson to drive at home, which you're welcome to do, you don't need anything here. Um, unless you want us to do the bulletproof on it, uh, which is up to you. I mean, it doesn't need it mechanically, but you may want to do it anyway. Um, if you come here, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, 
plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3% and you come to Tucson and drive it home, you're gonna pay a total of 5% tax and a $250 dog fee. That'd be your three plus our two plus a 250 dog fee. Pay by wire and ship, no dog fee, no taxes, nothing. You deal with your tax man or your motor vehicle fees once it shows up at your front door. Uh, once we receive your wire uh, and we're paid, we will uh, fill out the title the way you inf instruct us to fill it out with your name and address. We'll notarize it, sign it off to you. Uh, we'll scan that into your online file and, as well as the uh, envelope that we mail it in. We'll even see the uh, title we got from the insurance company will be included in your online file. Uh, the title itself that we have now will be in the end. This thing runs great, really great, very strong. The steering is great. Uh, Usually Fords, it'll have a little bit of wander, a little bit of uh, looseness to them, and this one doesn't have it. On a one to 10, with 10 being great steering, and one being terrible, I'm giving this a 9.9. <laughs> I have quite a bit of experience on the subject. Very smooth, no vibrations. And I don't want to torpedo this truck, so I'm gonna slow down. Uh, anyhow, uh, very nice truck. Uh, but, but, but deposits, please get your deposited. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. We'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. Please get that done. Uh, I can't tell you, God, it's, we're on a roll of that lately. The last couple months, we've had people where they, you know, we agreed upon a price in the morning and they wait until they get home to make the deposit. By the time they get home to make the deposit, we've already sold it to a guy who walked in with cash. That's happened a couple times. Specifically a 2013 F-150. That guy's still butthurt. <laughs> Not my problem. Please get your deposit in, okay? So then we don't have that kind of drama. We don't need drama, and uh, we don't need people disappointed. Um, you know, Even if it isn't our fault, we still don't like it. So please get those, that done uh, once we agree on a price. But lastly, um, warranty stuff, okay? I'm going to back it up here. Warranty. Obviously, this truck is out of warranty. If Ford guys who made it, the engineers and the uh, and the uh, designers, could give it a 27-year, 292,000-mile warranty, they would have. They would have been able to sell it for a lot more money, and it would have uh, uh, been a fantastic thing. But they don't know what's going to happen after X amount of miles or X amount of years. Therefore, they cut them at where they cut them. If they don't know what's gonna happen after that much time or that many miles, there's no chance that we know more than the guys who built it. So, bottom line, there's risk involved in buying a used something, anything used, okay? So, if you're risk averse, don't buy from us, please don't buy from us, because there's risk, okay? We don't know if it's gonna to go to your house and need an injector three hours after it gets there. Today, it definitely doesn't need an injector. It doesn't need a damn thing, okay? Uh, the bulletproof EGR package is optional, but you don't you don't need it. You could drive this thing to Maine right now at 90. <laughs> but it, you know we don't know what's going to happen. If we did, we would be zillionaires to, if we knew what was going to happen with any of these. We have no idea. Ford didn't know. We don't know. So if you need to know that you're taken care of, go buy a new one. And a new XLT with a new diesel motor and the whole bit is going to be. 45,000 and after three years that warranty expires the bumper to bumper expires and you owe $36,000 on your $22,000 truck <laughs> that's the truth but you won't have to worry for three years that's what we want people who are stressed out about risk to do go buy a new one otherwise just put in your mind that you're going to save a bunch of money buying from us you've got a ton of information here and that uh, at some point, sooner or later, you're going to have to spend some money on a repair. And it may be three years from now, and it may be three days from now. Simple as that. Okay? Anyway, I doubt it, though. This is a hell of a truck. Thank you for your time.